we have got uh, 16 pins on the LCD module. Now let's understand why these pins are used for. <laughs> So now let's understand uh, the significance of LCD pins. We have got uh, 16 pins on the LCD module. Now let's understand why these pins are used for. So we can understand this by going through the data sheet of the LCD controller. So the data sheet I have attached with this uh, lecture, you can download it. So if you are using 16 cross 2 or 20 cross 2 or any other character LCD module, then your LCD module may uh, consist of this uh, Hitachi LCD controller or a similar one. The command set and the working principle is same actually. So you can refer to this data sheet without any problem. This LCD module doesn't uh, communicate over any serial communication protocol such as I2C or SPI. Here we communicate uh, through parallel data lines. If you browse through this document, you will see a section where the pin functions are explained. First, let's start with uh, the VSS pin. This is the ground pin for the LCD module. So the ground pin of your board has to be connected to the ground pin of the LCD. And the next pin is VDD. So the VDD has to be in between or VCC has to be in between a 2.7 volt to 5.5 volt. Basically the Beagle Bone board supplies around 4.5 volt to 5 volt, isn't it? That you can use as a power supply to the LCD controller. You can use a multimeter to check whether the voltage really falls under this uh, value or not. That's the power supply to the LCD. After that, so this is a contrast pin. As I explained, here you should connect a potentiometer, okay, to control the voltage so that you can control the contrast of the LCD. And the fourth pin is the register select. Let's explore what exactly is register select, RS. So RS pin has to be controlled by the microcontroller unit or microprocessor unit. If this signal is zero, then LCD controller concludes that you are trying to send an instruction or a command to the LCD. That's the instruction register select pin. And if it is full to one, then the LCD controller thinks that the user or the microcontroller is trying to send a data byte. That's why the RS line is used to differentiate between a command and a data. So that's why when you are sending any user data from your microcontroller to the LCD module, make sure that RS is full to one or high. For command, pull it to zero. And after that, next one is read and write. For this exercise, you know, we'll not be using this pin actually. This will be always driven to zero. What's the significance of this pin? Read write bar. It should be pulled to zero, okay, if you want to write into LCD. And if you want to read from an LCD, then it should be pulled to high. The read write bar differentiates between write and read. So since in this exercise, we will not be reading from the LCD, you can always keep this uh, signal to ground. And after that, the next pin is enable. Enable, so it's a signal to the LCD in order to read the data which is there on the data lines. It kickstarts the data read write for the LCD controller. Basically, you have to do a high to low transition on this line. When that transition happens, the LCD latches or the LCD controller reads the data which is there on the data lines into its internal registers. Only when the transition is detected, the data will be latched inside the LCD controller registers. For that purpose, enable is used. So we'll see more uh, details on that later. And after that, you have got eight parallel data pins which carry data. This LCD can be used in either 4-bit data mode or 8-bit data mode. That means you can send 8 bits at a time to the LCD. 
In that case, you would need eight pins connected between LCD and the microcontroller. This is used to write data into the LCD or to read data from the LCD. But for some applications, you know, utilizing eight pins of a microcontroller may not be practical. Most of the time, uh, those many pins are not available on the microcontroller. At that time, you can use a 4-bit mode data transmission. In the 4-bit mode data transmission, you can only use four lines instead of eight lines. That's why this LCD can be used in 4-bit data mode or 8-bit data mode. If you are using this LCD in 8-bit data mode, then all eight data pins must be used. Otherwise, if you are using this LCD in 4-bit data mode, then you have to use only these four lines. That is a DB4 to DB7. That means you have to split your 8-bit data transmission into two. And after that, there are two other pins which are actually used to control the backlight of this LCD. Basically, this is a backlight LED's positive terminal and this is a negative terminal. So you can use it to turn on the backlight of the LCD.